Introducing now the principals. First, in the red corner to my right, wearing the all black trunks, weighing 222 pounds, his professional record, 11 victories, no defeats, nine wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, PA. Here is Derek, one man riot, Bryant. Bryant. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with the gold sequin trim. He weighs 249 pounds. His professional record, 31 victories, 70 feats, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. El Hijo de la República de Cuba, now boxing out of Las Vegas. Here is El Tigre, Jorge Luis Gonzalez. Gonzalez, 10 rounds, heavyweight. That's right. You have any questions? Yeah. Don't hit me hard, man. <laughs> okay. 10 rounds. Obey my commands. Belly button, hip bone, nothing below that. Touch gloves now, I'll come out and go to work. Well, I've never heard that before. Any questions? And Derek Bryan says, yeah, and he looks says, don't hit me hard. To Jorge Luis Gonzalez, that is a heavyweight explosion first. Very loose. That was different. Very different for sure, Kevin. Bryan's another guy that doesn't look like a big heavyweight. Okay, let's go. Fight more like a cruiserweight. Well, how big can he look next to uh, Jorge Luis Gonzalez? He does weigh 222 pounds and is six foot three and a half, and comes out in a southpaw stance. I, I expected, I expected Brian to come right at Gonzalez and start backing Gonzalez up right away with that punching part that he has. Well, we talked about tonight's team being knockouts, and certainly, as we mentioned, our opening fight with Pickram and Willie Williams didn't leave us disappointed. Now, let's see what happens here. As you've got 36 combined knockouts and sitting in this ring, and not a great shin. Possessed by Jorge Luis Gonzalez. After losing to Bo, got knocked out by Tim Witherspoon, Ross Surity, Michael Grant, Cliff Cowser, and Joe Macy. Top six times total in his career. Only fought also one time last year, looking a little tentative here right now. Got to give Brian a lot of credit for taking this fight. I mean, he's fighting a man with a lot of experience. And only have 11 fights, Brian. You go in the ring, last name of placement. Take him a lot of credit. This is that kind of business, though, Kevin, where he's looking to take that giant step after only 11 pro fights, taking on a man that's got 38 pro fights. And he's taking, really taking it to Gonzalez here in the first round. And Gonzalez is holding on, and we've got a half a round left. Tells Jane 80 he's okay. Brian comes right back in, and he's a big finisher. Gonzalez continues to be stuck on a rope, trying to hold on to one arm. That was a bad move. And his eyes are definitely glassed over. Brian is trying to knock him out right now. But they say, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. That's one thing Gonzalez won't there. Oh, Gonzalez yeah. going down right now. He's going to take a rest. Three, Takes the mouthpiece out. Five, six, Kevin, I don't think he wants five, to go on. Eight, I don't think so either. You okay? Come to me. Come He's to okay, me. but his mouthpiece is in his glove. His mouthpiece is not in his mouth. Well, that was a small plow. He's the timekeeper at ringside catches that. And Gonzalez, Gonzalez continues to carry the mouthpiece around. Oh, you right now his corner has it. Very and small plow took the mouthpiece out. I'll tell you that. Well, it's buying a lot of time for him right now. And Jane 80 letting him get away with that. What about Bryant? He's got explosive punching power, and I'm looking to see some more of it. Unofficial clock now off, but I would say about a minute to go in this round. Plenty of time for Bryant. They're right above us, and Gonzalez is going to fall right on top of us. Gonzalez goes down, and Jay Nady waves it off. This fight is over. And Derek Bryant taking this fight on very short notice. Takes that big giant step as he adds a big six foot six notch to his gun belt 
Make that six foot seven. Jorge Luis Gonzalez down twice here in the first round, waved off by Jane 80. And we told you knockouts were the theme tonight and two first round knockouts in our feature fights. And Derek Bryant already overposing for the cameras. And when he said at the introductions tonight, don't hit me too hard. He couldn't have been more off base as he takes apart a very, very shot, I would have to say, Kevin. And I'd like to be as kind as possible, but Jorge Luis Gonzalez should not be fighting anymore. I agree. I mean, I didn't see anything from him. Not, not a jab, not a hook, not an uppercut, not a power punch. I didn't see anything from Gonzalez. I mean, I'm concerned about the man's health right now. And Gonzalez originally scheduled to fight Charles Schuford, a much more seasoned and larger professional than even Brian. Could have been even worse. But we're taking a look right now. at what was the final knockdown. And actually, that might have been the first knockdown, Kevin, as I saw the mouthpiece come. Oh, no, I think that was the second knockdown. That was the second, where it was right above us? Yes, it was the second knockdown. The first knockdown was in the corner, honey. That's the one that was on the ropes. He almost fell on top of us. Right on top of us there. Well, one man riot. Does what he's got to do, but Mark Vero's got the official time of the stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, 2 minutes, 33 seconds of the first round. The winner by a knockout and still undefeated, Derek, one man riot, Bryant. Bryant. All right, Derek Bryant will improve to 12 and 0. That's his 10th win by way of knockout. Big Cuban Jorge yeah, Luis Gonzalez dropped Go down to 38 and 31 and 8. That's the seventh time he's been stopped. It's the third time in a row he's been stopped, and they really need to do some evaluating about whether he should be fighting again. And you see Bryant right there. I don't think it's really sunk in at this point to him just who he beat and how significant a win this is taking the fight again on Sorry, man. short no notice. Referee says any questions, and you looked over at Gonzalez and you said, don't hit me too hard. Were you trying to put him off his game right from the outset? Yes. Where, where did that come from? Did you plan that? No, I always do that before I fight. A little spontaneous? Yes. Okay. You took this fight on short notice. You had very little activity last year. One round to be exact in December, which was your demolition of Wes Taylor. But you come in here tonight against a much more experienced fighter, somebody that had been preparing for another fight, and yet you had this kind of a result. What enabled you to do that? Well, I had, well, I was, I was, I've been at the gym for a long time, sparring at a lot of gyms like that. Well, I just, I took a final short notice. I was scared coming to the ring, but I had to do what I had to do to get the job done. What happens when you look at a guy that's got that sort of height and reach advantage, and yet you went out there and you took the fight to him, and you knew you had him hurt, hurt real bad after the first knockdown, didn't you? Yes. You. Yet the referee gave him a little bit of an advantage. He spit out that mouthpiece. He bought himself 30 yes, seconds. Did, yes. You didn't let that affect you, though? No, I went straight back to his body to take the win from him, then go back to the head. Give us a little bit of a recap here why you were so inactive the last two years. I was in contract problems, management problems. And things have cleared up for you right now? You're going to stay a little busier? Yes. Okay. Thanks to Lou Develo. Okay, well, that's a little ad for Lou. Tell, tell me a little bit here. We're going to take a look here. You're going to take a look. You've got him in the corner for the first, I think this is the first knockdown. What's going on here? Well, I'm trying to set him up for the hook. There we go right there. I missed him. I was a little anxious. Up there. That's what I'm trying to land that left hand. I was a little... And, that, and that's where he spits out the mouthpiece. Yeah, he know he's a veteran. He knows what he's doing. Get a little bit time. Try to buy himself some yes. time here. Now, in the parlance of the game, you just bought a big giant step. Okay, you were an 11-0 fighter coming in, but you're more than a 12-0 fighter now because you knocked out Jorge Luis Gonzalez. How do you follow this up? What kind of a fight are you looking for? And Sharon, you can jump in anytime you want, or Sam, if you've got yeah, some ideas here about what comes next. I just want him to move up, stay busy, fight every month. You know, he keep winning like this. He's looking at the next heavyweight champ. You've got to give him an A. You've got to give him an A for this performance, correct? Plus, you know, 
I he followed instructions, you know, to the T. Yes, he was a little anxious, but like I said, you know, we told him don't come out here playing, go ahead and get the job done, let's go home. All right. Well, you can definitely go home and go back to Philly and be real proud. Terrific performance. Look forward to seeing you again on the explosion. Okay, thank you. Take care. All right. Well, there we go. From Cromwell, Connecticut, Stephen Epstein. And from North Situate, Rhode Island, Robert Paolino. And from Portsmouth, Rhode Island, our referee in charge of this bout, Charles Dwyer. All right, fans, here we go. Heavy.